Hey guys, it's Becky Bamboo. It is Saturday, September, uh, what is it? Oh, it's September 11th. Jeez, I should be able to remember that. That's terrible. Um, so it's September 11th, 2010. And I had to come on and make a video tonight because, look, I chopped all my hair off. <laughs> I think it's really cute. Um, I searched around. I put something on Facebook. So those of you on Facebook, like I got a, a bunch of responses about what should I do with my hair? I need a new cut. I don't know what to do. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so I've been searching around like all day Friday um, to try to find a new hairstyle. Um, I couldn't decide if I wanted to go short or if I wanted to let my hair grow out. And I kind of got some like people saying go short. Some people said go long. Um, so I was kind of getting pulled in every which direction, but I came across a haircut, um, that I really thought was cute. So I took it to my stylist today and she thought it was perfect for me because as you can tell, it's kind of like funky a little bit. It's like asymmetrical. So it's like longer over here and shorter over here. And, um, yeah, I just think it's super cute. And, um, so anyway, I just went for it and said, chop it off, go for it. And I'm excited. I really, really like it. So I wanted to, to do a video today to show off my, um, my new locks, I guess, I, could, I guess you could say. So it's going to take me a while to get used to it. And I'm sure it's going to take me a few days to figure out how to exactly to style it. Um, new haircuts are always challenging like that, you know, uh, especially shortcuts. If anybody had their haircut like really short in the past or whatever, or even currently, you can probably understand like shortcuts take a little more work initially to figure out how to, to like style them, but then they're a lot easier. Um, before with my last haircut that I had was kind of like the inverted bob. So it was shorter in the back and longer in the front. And, um, uh, it was lots and lots and lots of flat ironing. Well, this one is not going to be so bad. Just kind of flat ironing um, a little bit on the front, maybe a little bit in the back, and it shouldn't take very long to style at all. So I'm very excited about that because um, I just, you get tired of having a, like a high maintenance haircut after a while. Um, I don't know, I just, I grow tired of my hair very quickly, and that's like just something I've always done. If you look at past pictures of me, I always have different hairstyles. I just always have. I don't know. I don't know what it is about that, but I just do. So anyway, I had to come and share my new, um, my new do and let you guys see it. And please let me know. What do you think? Does it look good? Um, the one thing that I thought immediately when she started cutting like all of the hair off was like, my face looks skinny. <laughs> my face looks skinny. Weird. And I put that on my Facebook and somebody's like, your face doesn't look skinny. It is skinny. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> so anybody who is in process of losing weight and um, wanting to like accentuate, I guess, your the way that you, your loss has been, cut your hair off. There's something very freeing about cutting your hair off too. I don't know. It's kind of like... Um, I don't, I, it's hard to explain. I did it. I had really short hair a couple years ago and, um, I loved, I loved having it short just because it was so easy to manage. It was a different style than this, but, um, still really easy to manage. And there was just something really freeing about just chopping it off. And again today, like, it's just like, yeah, get rid of it. And it's like kind of shedding that old stuff. And there's so much new, fun, excellent things going on in my life right now that um, I kind of just feel like it suits me. Um, like, I'm just funky and um, like, so like a funky, fresh, sassy haircut is kind of um, fitting for me. So I'm excited about it. I'm really excited. And I wanted to show it off today because probably tomorrow it will not, it will not look like this. Because, you know, stylists, they're good at like fixing it all up and making it look good. And, um, that's one argument I always have about like the, especially the last haircut I had when I would leave the salon after I get a, like a trim or whatever, I felt like it was so cute. And then the next day I could not freaking style it and it would piss me off. So hopefully this will be different. It's kind of like, um, the back of it is just like messed up. Like, I mean, you just mess it up and that's all you do. And then I mean, how hard is that? I can mess it up. Put some hairspray in it, mess it up, go on. 
It's not hard. Um, so anyway, how, how's everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Um, I guess I should acknowledge that it is September 11th and, um, I'm sure everybody feels so like this, like 9-11 is such an individual topic for everybody in the country, I would imagine. Um, and I, I feel the same way like that, um, the, the thing that just always impacts me, for one, is I can't believe it's been nine years already. Like, seriously, it feels like yesterday. Um, my husband and I were sitting watching um, a show, I guess it was Friday night, so the 10th. We were watching a show about 9-11, and um, do, do, every time those images are on TV of the planes hitting the towers and the towers coming down and um, the Pentagon stuff and all of that. Um, it's like, I still, like, I still get that like helpless, heartbroken feeling. Um, I was in uh, my first semester of nursing school when this happened and I will never forget the day. Like I'll never forget, um, going to my first early morning class and being told there's something going on. We're not having class. Please go and find a TV right now. Like it's really major. Make sure you go find a TV. Um, and so my class was like an 8 a.m. class and my entire nursing class went to like our university center and there was a big screen TV and we all just got at a table together and, um, watched all this unfold on TV. And I mean, it was just such a helpless feeling. And, um, I just remember thinking when we were sitting there that like, I was like, that, that, that I just knew it was a day that was forever changing the history of the country. There's the history of the world, really. Um, I just remember like, just, you just knew it was. Um, and I guess I related to like, I remember growing up and, um, learning about like the, shooting of JFK and things along those lines in school and listening to my mom talk about how vividly she remembers the day and like what she was doing, where she was, what she was wearing, um, things along those lines. And it's, this is the exact same way. Like, um, Jared and I were talking like, you know, there's kids who were, didn't even know, like they were not even born yet when 9-11 happened. And so we were kind of talking about how, you know, like with our kids, we're going to be the same way with our kids with 9-11 as like, what our parents were with like JFK getting shot, things like that. So it's kind of, um, I don't know. It's just like one of those, it's a really big deal. So, um, I just wanted to mention it since, you know, it's the day and, um, I know I, I didn't personally know anybody there. Um, the, the very interesting story for me about nine 11 is this, um, I visited, uh, New York city the summer, before 9-11. Um, my family took a vacation there and, um, you know, so I was, we were all throughout the city and, um, you know, just whatever, doing whatever. Um, so the day of 9-11, I got up that morning and was getting ready to go to my class and was trying to decide what to wear. Well, I had gotten some t-shirts, of course, when I was on vacation in New York and I pulled out a t-shirt that said New York on it. And I was like, I just kind of thought to myself, I need to wear this today. Like I didn't understand why, but there was like a pull for me to wear that shirt. So I wore, I just wore it. I mean, I, I didn't know. I didn't have any way of knowing. And when I got to class and we, you know, found out we needed to go watch TV and we were all sitting in front of this TV and all this was happening. One of my fellow students like said, this is weird. You're wearing sh a New York shirt today. Like, that's kind of weird, isn't it? And I was like, well, it's weird because I got up this morning and I like f had like this weird feeling like I needed to have this shirt on today. And, um, so that was like, that's something that has stuck with me forever. Just like how bizarre that I kind of got like a gut feeling that like it was going to be important to have that shirt on. So, very, very weird. And the other weird thing was that um, some of my fellow student classmates um, were in the Army National Guard, and um, the topic of conversation very quickly went to, um, oh my God, these, these people who are friends of ours who are close to us are not going to be graduating with us because they're going to get deployed. Um, it was almost like everybody just knew that... Um, 
this was that big that, you know, people were going to be getting called up and things along those lines. Luckily for us, um, both, it was just a couple of people and both of them were able to get out of it until, um, after we were done with school, which is really lucky. Um, but they both did end up having to do some time like in the guard after uh, graduation because of, um, being able I, I, for whatever reason they were able to get out of it and I don't even know like all the details to it but it was just interesting like there was so much going on and um, it, it, there's just so many memories of that day and I guess it's so vivid it's like it happened yesterday um, and it gives me like chills and kind of like uh, an upset stomach thinking about um, watching all of that and I, I mean I remember the people jumping out of like the hundredth floor of the World Trade Center and I was just like uh, in awe um, my, we sat and watched in the, at this big screen TV for a while and then eventually um, we all kind of went our separate ways and I headed back to the dorm where I was living and a lot of the classes were cancelled I don't know if they actually shut the university down that day or um, what but I, I mean the dorm was full everybody was there and I had this little tiny 19 inch TV in my dorm room and we all sat around like me and my roommate and several other people just sat there and I could, I can remember just having like my jaw like open and like my hand to my mouth because it was just such of like disturbing images like to see it over and over and over and over um you know they played it so much like just over and over and over and over and over and god it just sticks with me it's I mean I can it just seems like it has not been nine years there's just it just doesn't seem possible that it could be nine years so um anyway I think it's good that we talk about it. I think it's good we remember and um you know all those things so I just wanted to share my little personal story with you guys of of that day and, and I'm sure that a lot of you have done the same thing I just haven't had time to watch videos today I've been very busy so um Anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, yeah, I guess I just don't have much else to talk about tonight. I, I did go shopping today. I told you guys I was wanting to go shopping. I went shopping. It was a total bust. Total bust. Um, I tried on several different kinds of pants and jeans and things fit funky and uh, I was not happy with it. And um, ultimately, like, the... <laughs> It's weird because I feel like right now I'm really in between sizes because things were either way too big or they were way too tight. There was no like happy medium at all. In fact, I found a winter coat that I fell in love with. It's um, a fuchsia pink. I might have to end up getting it, but um, the size, one size was like swallowing me. It was so big, but then the other side was a little bit snug like around my hip area. Um, so, but I said, you know, it's September. I'm probably not going to be wearing my wearing a coat for a little while yet for another, hopefully not for another like couple of months, but that might be wishful thinking. Um, so anyway, it's basically like either way too big or it's a little bit snug. And even if I buy it snug now, I know by the time I wear it, it'll fit fine. And probably by the end of winter, it'll be too big. But I'm going to have to buy a coat. I know I'm going to have to do that. And it was so cute. So, um, really, really thinking about that coat a lot, <laughs> even though I'm not going to get to wear it for a little while yet. So we'll see. Um, yeah, so I was with my mom all day. My mom came down, she got her hair cut, um, the same time I did. So it was kind of fun to have mom there with me with getting my new do. And then we spent the whole day out shopping and piddling and I went to Goodwill and I went to all these other places. So it was a lot of fun. Um, I love my mommy so much. It was just, it's so good to get time with her. So anyway, um, I guess that's it. I really just wanted to show off my haircut. That was all. And then it turned it into a, like a 15 minute video. Of course they always do. So I hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend and I'll be back Monday for the official week 11, week 11 update. Can't believe it's been 11 weeks. So mm, take care you guys. Have a great night. Mwah. Bye.